in the heart of ancient Greece, where rugged mountains stood as sentinels and olive groves stretched as far as the eye could see, there thrived a society forged in the crucible of hardship and discipline, the Spartans. Among these fearless warriors, the hoplites stood as a formidable force. Their bronze-clad bodies and unwavering determination, inspiring both awe and fear. On a sweltering summer's day, in the year 480 BC, an ominous aura hung over the city-state of Sparta. The threat of invasion loomed, and the hoplites were summoned to the Agora, their crimson cloaks billowing in the scorching wind. Among them was Leonidas, the valiant king of Sparta, known for his courage and resolve. His eyes, as sharp as a hawk's, scanned the faces of his warriors, each bearing the weight of their legacy. In the shadow of Mount Tagatoes, the hoplites gathered, their hearts pounding like drums of war. The Persians, under the command of King Xerxes, were advancing, their massive army numbering in the hundreds of thousands. Leonidas knew that the Pass of Thermopylae, a narrow choke point between the sea and the mountains, offered the perfect battleground for a desperate defense. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over the land, the Spartan hoplites took their positions at the mouth of the pass. Their bronze helmets gleamed in the fading light, and the red plumes atop them fluttered like flames. Each hoplite carried a large round shield, a spear, and a short sword, their armor a testament to their unyielding spirit. The night was restless, filled with whispers of doubt and dread. Leonidas stood among his warriors, a rock in the midst of a storm, his words a beacon of hope. Spartans, he roared, his voice like thunder. Tonight, we die in the halls of heroes. As the first light of dawn broke, the Persian army appeared on the horizon a seemingly endless sea of soldiers, their battle cries echoing through the valley. The hoplites braced themselves, their shields forming an unbreakable wall, their spears gleaming like serpents, ready to strike. The clash was deafening, the air thick with the acrid scent of sweat and blood. Wave after wave of Persian soldiers crashed against the Spartan phalanx. But the hoplites held firm, their discipline and unity, a shield against the onslaught. The battle raged on, the sun climbing higher in the sky, casting a harsh light on the brutality of war. In the midst of the battle, a lone hoplite named Ariston found himself separated from his comrades. He fought valiantly, his heart pounding in his chest as he parried blow after blow. But as exhaustion overcame him, he was thrown to the ground, his shield clattering out of reach. Ariston lay there, gasping for breath, his vision blurred. The Persian soldiers closed in, their weapons poised to strike. In that desperate moment, he glimpsed a flash of crimson. Leonidas, who had carved a path through the enemy to reach him, With a mighty roar, Leonidas dispatched Ariston's assailants, his sword a whirlwind of death. He extended a hand to the fallen hoplite, pulling him to his feet. We Spartans do not leave our comrades behind, Leonidas declared, his voice unwavering. Together, they fought their way back to the phalanx, their spirits rekindled by their king's unwavering resolve. The battle raged on, the battle raged on, the hoplites pushing back the Persian tide with every ounce of their strength. But the cost was high, and the Spartan numbers dwindled. As the sun began its descent, Leonidas stood at the forefront of his dwindling band of warriors, bloodied and battered but unbroken. 
He knew that the end was near, that their sacrifice would buy precious time for Greece to prepare for the inevitable Persian invasion. With tears in his eyes, Leonidas turned to his men and spoke his final words, words that would echo through the ages. Fight for your families. Fight for Sparta. Fight for Greece. And with that, the Spartan king charged into the heart of the enemy, a whirlwind of death and defiance. The battle raged on, but the Spartan hoplites, vastly outnumbered, were slowly overwhelmed. One by one, they fell, their crimson cloaks staining the earth. But their sacrifice was not in vain. The Persian advance had been delayed, and Greece had been given precious time to prepare for the coming storm. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the last of the Spartan hoplites fell, their bodies forming a crimson barrier at the mouth of Thermopylae. The Persian army marched on, but they had been humbled by the indomitable spirit of the Spartans. In the years that followed, the memory of Leonidas and his hoplites lived on, a symbol of courage and sacrifice that would inspire generations to come. And in the annals of history, the Battle of Thermopylae would forever be remembered as a testament to the unbreakable will of the Spartan hoplites.